So let's start with the clinical history. This is a 50 year old man for, with altered level of consciousness for the past two days. EEG was requested to rule out electrographic status epilepticus. So let's start with the history here. Let's look at the EEG here. So just some very basics. All the odd numbers here are recording from the left side of the brain. The even numbers are recording from the right side of the brain. The alphabets determine the location of the electrodes. So FP is frontopolar, C is central, P is parietal, and O is occipital. These green lines are separated by one second. If you look at the posterior channel, so P301 is the left side, looking at the potential difference between P3 and O1, you see some alpha frequencies that are there. And likewise, when you look at P4, O2, you see some alpha to beta frequencies there. There is a lot of muscle artifact here. And I will, and uh, you can have a look at the ECG at the same time. This is looking at the ECG. The rate is somewhere 67, 68 beats per minute. So let's move on with the EEG. So I'll go to the next page. And here you start seeing some slowing that is more pronounced in the parasagittal electrodes, but it is there diffusely. When you see e slowing on the EEG, you will determine whether this is physiological as you would see in sleep or pathological as you would see in metabolic encephalopathies or in certain kind of seizures. And we can see a clear evolution. So look at this page, this last page here, and then move on to the next page. You can see an evolution, the amplitude of the slow waves increases as we go along. There are some sharply contoured waves that are seen in the parasagittal left and right hemisphere. There is no clear lateralization. It is both hemispheres that are involved. And then as we move on, there is a progression of this slowing. There are some sharp waves, epileptiform activity that is seen. And then it disappears and the alpha rhythm comes back. So what do you call this activity? So let's going back. There is a beginning, there is an evolution, and there is a stop. So this qualifies for an electrographic seizure. And then the alpha rhythm comes back. So it has a discrete beginning, it has a discrete ending. And this alpha rhythm continues. Look at P402. So you are you can see the uh, alpha rhythm. Look at P301. So there is alpha rhythm there there is muscle artifact and beta activity in the frontal head regions. So within each of these epochs is a little more than uh, 10 seconds. There is slowing on the background. And then we start seeing some periodic stuff, some broad sharp waves in the left frontal region. At this point, you're seeing sleep spindles in fact. So these are sleep spindles not completely synchronized, but this qualifies for stage two sleep. And then we have that stuff come back again. There is generalized slowing. There are some sharply contoured waves. There is delta frequency with superimposed beta frequencies. And as I move it over here, you can see this is a, an evolution, rhythmic delta and theta activity with sharply contoured waves with fast frequencies superimposed on the background that continues that continues to evolve. At this time, the patient wa had a decreased level of consciousness. There was no obvious motor activity. And this then subsides right here. You can see that this is all gone. And the patient, there is still some slowing, but not the same kind of an evolution. And the EG now shows slowing. And this keeps going on and on. You have this this activity comes back again. Rhythmic delta activity. So why do I call it delta? If you count the number of waves between these two green lines, you have half a wave here, one wave here, another half. So approximately two hertz, two waves per second. And then you can see the transition. Look over here. So see all this slowing in the first half of the page. And then it resumes to almost alpha frequency at the end of the page. So very clear, discrete seizure. Now, how do you define electrographic or clinical status epilepticus? 
So for a clinical definition of status epilepticus, a person who has multiple seizures without recovery of consciousness in between or a seizure that lasts for 30 minutes or longer. So during the CG, this patient had close to seven electrographic seizures, each lasting from 30 seconds to a minute. Here we go, here's another seizure. Change in frequencies, changes in amplitude, evolution in the background, no clear lateralization, there was a beginning and now there is an end. Okay, so the basically the take home message from the CEG is electrographic seizures can account for a decreased level of consciousness to classify and to characterize an electrographic seizure you would like to see a clear beginning you would like to see a clear end you would like to see an evolution in frequency and amplitude and this is this here we are back to stage two sleep so we'll keep moving and you can identify what I would suggest is now you can turn off the volume go back on this EEG one page at a time you can pause and stop at your leisure and try to identify these electrographic seizures so one of the emergencies for conducting an EEG is to rule out status epilepticus that's one of the one of the main emergency that is used to you that is used uh, with the electroencephalogram so my recommendation is if you are not comfortable identifying electrographic status epilepticus go back on the CG look at it several times make sure you understand the concept go back and read through your textbooks and then you will be a pro thank you very much that's it for today bye for now